one you may have seen our pop video featured a performer whose synthesizer music topped the charts in the early 80s he's back a new single slightly toned down appearance no more day glow orange suits no more wild hair howard jones is this you yes have you quietened down is this the, um, is this the well i suppose so. i mean it's like kind of nine years ago since i did all that so you know as you get as you get older you you change and and evolve hopefully and well, now i've got a family and two children and, <laughs> you know. well the, the family say daddy you cannot go out looking like that do they <laughs> well they're, they're watching me now on the television very excited i think word word had it that your mum who's we know a renowned howard jones fan right. wasn't too happy about the hair i mean word has it that, that, that Oh, no. the, the fan club is much, ha much happier about the new look. No, my, my mum is, has been my ultimate supporter right from the beginning. She, anything that I do, she's behind. She's the best mum you can have. Right. Now, Howard, um, I mean, you're well aware that, that, that there was a time, indeed, mm. still is a time, when you fitted into the category, where are they now? Yes. Where were you then? Well, um, fortunately, I've been, you know, doing well in um, America all the time I've been absent from here. So, right. in fact, I've been working the whole time and doing albums and records. But my success has been sort of elsewhere rather than in this country. So it must seem to people that, you know, I've retired or something, but in fact, you know. That's right. If you're not doing well in Britain, you've disappeared off the earth. If you're <laughs> yes, that's right. Yeah, that's if, right. If you're living in Britain. Did you actually stay away from Britain for a long time then? Or? No, I've, no I've, been, I've been living uh, in, in this country all the time. I've got a studio in the back garden. And, uh, it Is takes this the famous shed? The shed, that's right. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it takes me a long time to make records now. Um, I spend the time. But it's also been great for me because I've been able to watch my, you know, my children grow up and be around. That's good, although you say, well, I'm Howard Jones. So where have you been? I mean, everybody says, well, what have you been up to? Doesn't that actually drag you down a little bit? Well, it, 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 it does in, in the sense that uh, I, you know, I have been active in other parts of the world. Yes. And so you think, well, you know, yeah, I'll tell them about that. But um, it'd be great to have some success here again so that I could feel good about that. I think there's every chance with uh, Lift Me Up. It's a remarkable video. We'll, we'll see it in just a moment. Just tell us a little bit about, I mean, you had to do the Bob Hoskins bit, the Roger Rabbit. Absolutely, there, absolutely. It was, it was great. We had like about 54 separate shots to do. And I had to uh, imagine that I was interacting with people that, that, that weren't actually there. And um, usually videos are, are, aren't terribly much fun to do, but this one was really great. Just out of interest, did it reflect your loves. I mean, we, Lorraine and I were saying mm. some of the old dancing is absolutely fantastic to watch. Absolutely. If you can bear to sit through a 19, yeah. what, late 1940s film yeah. or early 1950s, the dancing yeah. is fantastic. Isn't it amazing? It's fantastic. And, and the thing that I love about it is that there's such a sense of joy in the uh, performers and all the musicians, mm. and, and they're not inhibited at all. I mean, it's a, it's a gig big giggle. We raved about Michael Jackson's moonwalking. They were doing that 30 or 40 years ago. That's right. Like all the Lindy hopping and it's, it's just so full of vitality. I mean, that's one of the reasons why we chose it. Well, let's show a clip from Lift Me Up. I don't know whether we're going to see some of the dancing sure. segments we're talking about, but let's try our luck and see if we can find a bit. Lift Me Up, Howard Jones.
And they, they were probably paid about one dollar a day, some of those artists, weren't they? Yeah, you that's can right. But I think that they, you can tell that they really enjoyed themselves when they were doing that. They really loved their work. Mm. And it's great. I think people, may, maybe we've all become too serious, you know, in videos these days. Those people are really enjoying it and there's just joy coming out of them, mm. which is great. I mean, I won't be slightly pompous about it. I always thought that Michael Jackson, for instance, was a dancer first second, third, and a singer last. I mean, that was, it was through dance that the, the, the entire Jackson thing was, was founded. Yeah. Do, do you believe that? Um, well, I think he, he is an extremely talented man all around, actually. Mm. But, but he's dancing, yeah. I suppose so, dancing first. Mm. Now, Howard, you used to get the line, did you, didn't you used to be Howard Jones? Did you get that line? <laughs> that's right, yes, that's right. So you used to be Howard Jones. It's <laughs> difficult to answer that one. <laughs> didn't you? So you're, gonna, you're now prepared for the, you're Howard Jones. That's again, right. You? You're that bloke, yes. <laughs> OK, rest of while. Stay with us. We'll chat more later. Great, right now, we'll take a break. After the break, Roy Castle will be back and Jimmy Greaves. Graham Souness, renowned in sport as one of the yeah. toughest, fittest men. Mm. Triple, now facing triple uh, bypass heart operation at the age of 38. Jim. Well, I... Uh, it was very well kept secret because we've not heard anything, and, and particularly Ian St. John Saint, who I work with on Saturdays. I mean, he's got good Liverpool connections and yeah. never mentioned it. So I think it's probably been kept very quiet. Certainly, a football manager's job not the job to be having with um, with that no. uh, coming along, yeah. stress, especially yeah. the the semi final on Saturday. But he must know what it's all about. I mean. It, the stress of sport for a start. Uh, they they wired up young Christian Fittipaldi in the Grand Prix. Did you see? Mm -hmm. Monitored his heartbeat. It went up to 180, and that was during the quieter. Good heavens. Quieter, yeah. and he's 21 years old. Yeah. Yeah. That used to happen to me at half time. Used to walk up running to get the tea. <laughs> yeah. <Jeez>. The tea. <laughs> Hey. That's the only time you ran, is it? <laughs> it was, actually. Yeah. I know what was on the table before the Spurs Cup final in, was it 63? No, 63. What, what was on the what table? Was, there was a bottle on the table. And was it tea? It was always a bottle of Martel brandy on the table um, for those that wanted uh, a swig. And believe it or not, and you won't believe this, I never used to drink it. But it was purely medicinal, and a few of the players did used to have a drop just to warm what? them up before, before? they ran. Oh, before yeah, just a nip, just a teeny oh nip, God. just to, to, um, oh, yeah, seriously, yeah. yeah. But I never <laughs> touched it. I never touched it. Weren't much left after the game, though, <laughs> right? <laughs> so you did notice. Oh, I didn't notice yeah. where it was. <laughs> right. It used to disappear quickly uh, afterwards. I guess there's a serious point you made that when fit people, and Roy, clearly we definitely have placed God, you in that category, when Roy. fit people, and you were amazingly fit. You hold the world tap dancing speed record, don't you? Well, I, I did have that for 17 years, 24 a second, yeah. Mm. But then after that, I did uh, a million in a day, which I had to average 11 a second for 24 hours. I, I that mean, was like eight how marathons. Do, how did they count? It. <laughs> well, we, we had all the electronic digital counters mm -hmm. and everything. It was, it was all special effects. It was genuine. But when guys like you are hitting, basically you're an entertainer, but you're an athlete as well, quite clearly, when you're hit, with a mm. very serious illness, which you are right now. Does it hit you worse if you feel, oh, I'm going to lose the things that I most treasured, the, the fitness, the feeling of health? Well, it was totally unexpected. Mm. And so your mind just goes haywire. It's like, this, this can't. Mm. It can't be. You, mm. I kept thinking, I'm going to wake mm. up, and it's not me. You so know? What, do you think you were too fit? I couldn't. I'm, I, you know, I, I, I know it sounds fit. a silly question. Well, you say that. It sounds a silly no, question. But take racehorses. Yeah. They catch everything yeah. because they're fit. Right. And people who are not fit don't seem to catch anything when they go into places what you've suggested. Just they can like, be so highly uh, tuned. Night so clubs. Highly you're so tuned. highly tuned, you're right. so fit yeah. that do you think it could make him more vulnerable? Well, the other, side of the, coin, the other side of the coin is that if people are not fit and they get what I get, I've got, they haven't much chance yeah, of survival. Yeah. But if you are fit, then you, you're yeah. possibly in with this 5 to 10% yeah. chance. Yeah. Have doctors told you to in any way tone down what you've been doing? I mean, do you have a sort of keep fit routine as such? Have they actually told you to sort of, I don't know, change your lifestyle, change what you eat, change what you do? Well, I've always eaten sensibly for the last 15, 20 years according to what we should, because I did a program once about called right. Feeling Great. That's and right. I mean, yeah. That was the first yeah. program that told everybody it wasn't bread and potatoes that put weight on it, it was fat and sugar, you see. Mm. Mm. But uh, they said to keep, try and keep to a normal existence if possible, but if you feel tired, 
relax. Don't overtire yourself, you see, because um, the chemotherapy, it attacks the cancer cells, but it also attacks a lot of the good cells in your it body. Mm -hmm. So after that the treatment, the, the good cells in your body yeah. are supposed to pick up a bit quicker than the cancer cells, you see. Yeah. And if you're fit, and you can really, you can really power, you know, get, get yourself in good shape again for the next treatment, then you're one up on it, you see. So that's one wicket down. See what I mean? Mm. And, and over uh, it 12... It certainly made an awful lot of people think we've had loads and loads of calls this morning, including one from Mrs. Williamson of Galloway. And she said, having heard about you and, and, and what's uh -huh. this morning, she's going to make her salon and smoke free. I presume she's a, a hairdresser. And she's making the whole place. People aren't... Well, let's so hope you this is just the start. You yeah, know. you obviously are. You've touched a, a chord yeah. with people. Well, it certainly isn't the start, because it's been started a long time ago. This is just another push to try and, and make the non-smoker really... Uh, comfortable where, wherever they want to go and, and not, not be subjected to... Uh, this building's people. a good example mm, of that, yeah. isn't it? Sorry? This building is a good example yeah, there is a small area. Because there's two, two or three small areas where people can go to have a cigarette mm. if they want one, and the rest of the building well, is smoke-free. That's fine, That's, it? that's, that's how it fun. should be, really. I, I go along with that. it. You were saying to Lorraine earlier that you weren't bitter and you weren't angry, but when you first heard, there must have been days when you were full of anger. Why me? Other people have done this to me. There must have been. Yeah, but when you look at it, they haven't done it on purpose. You see, we're only just beginning to realise what's happening. Mm. So you can't blame people f for doing something to you when they don't really know that they're doing it to you. That's not fair. We should check out Howard, because Howard's sitting here, uh, yeah. and Howard, you're, uh, after all, working in a profession which yeah. you get up on stage and sometimes I shouldn't think you can see beyond the third row, can you? Yeah, yeah, that's right. In fact, I'm doing a, a tour at the moment where I'm going back to, to very small clubs where there's a lot of sm a smoky atmosphere. It made me think. Mm. Mm. Well, well, you're a singer, so you... That's right, and, and, be and because you're singing and oh, doing yeah. all that, you're yeah. really taking in tonnes yes. of air every breath. Sure, sure. It does make you think. I mean, I, I, I gave up smoking last September, mm. but I was always really, you know, concerned about polluting other people's air, so I was always, like, at, hanging outside the back door. Yeah, because mm -hmm. you know, I don't want the children. It was your children sure. made you think, sure. wasn't it? Yeah, that's right. R mm. Very much so, because I mean they were so small, so young. You don't I know. What, them. what fascinates me about all this is that it seems to me that everybody's given it up, and yet there's more cigarettes oh, being smoked. I don't quite understand it because you don't see people smoking like you used to. Young there's no question still, about young that. Young people are still smoking, but they're yes. still smoking. This Especially is what I'm young, saying, Lorraine. And yet no, you yeah. don't see anybody smoking. That's the odd thing is amongst the younger alarm, actually, yeah. I believe they're yeah. actually yeah. rising yeah. Amongst, amongst the young girls. people. They are. Yeah. Because it's so far away, you see. They think it's so far away. If you ask them to put their hand in a pan of boiling water, they wouldn't do it because that's instant pain. But because they think, oh, the pain's millions of miles that's away. Yeah. You know? young, and yeah. suddenly it's here. For me now, it's here. It's like mm -hmm. I won't see the end of summer if I don't have treatment. And it's here. And all my loved ones, you know, <coughs> that I want to watch grow and I want to see what happens to them, there's the strong chance that, that I possibly won't now. We're not going to think that way. I know, uh, I know. A bit. There's an even stronger chance that I will. And the yeah. other thing, uh, Roy, <laughs> if ever you feel a bit down, a bit low, come in here, eh? Come yeah. On. yeah, yes indeed. Come I do want people to get in touch with Ash, if they would, because the more... Action on smoking and yeah, health, yes. The more passive smokers get in touch with Ash, the more power Ash will have and the more they can do about it. So that's Ash at 109 Gloucester Place, London. W1H3PH, 109 Gloucester Place, London, Ash. Please put all your weight behind them. Mm. Good luck, Roy. Good luck, Thank Howard, you. and so uh, your tour, and well done on the video. Thank you. Congratulations on that. James, and then yeah, say, Roy, yeah. pop in any time. Yeah. Great to see you. And you, mate. Yeah, time. we did our first gig 30 yeah. years ago, probably. Yeah. It's amazing, yeah. isn't it? Next he'll be telling you he used to jump on milk floats because he liked milk. I mean, I'm beginning to wonder about Jim. I really am. Don't <laughs> <laughs> well, start. You. I've still got the ace card up my sleeve. And I know what happened in the Squirrel's dressing room. <laughs> Just remember that. <laughs> well, the show goes on and tomorrow we'll be joined by actor Edward Woodward and pop duo Swing Out Sister. <laughs>